Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. Got a really great footwork drill for you guys to practice. You will need a partner for this. Uh, we call this the figure eight drill. Okay, and as you can see behind me, I've set up two cones for Mark, you know, probably, I don't know, 12, 15 feet apart and about a foot inside the baseline. And what Mark's gonna do, we're gonna transition into hitting on this drill, but what he's gonna do is he's gonna start by just catching the, the balls that I've tossed to the side of the court. Okay, so in slow motion it would look like this. I'm gonna toss out here. Mark runs out around, and then as you can see, in order to come up and grab the ball, he shifted in front of the cone, and then he weaves back to the middle of the baseline. Okay, and at that point I would toss out here, he comes out around the cone, grabs the ball, and then he recovers. So he's making this nice figure eight move. And once we get that footwork down, that's something we want to practice with speed because that, that is a really good pattern to have once we're hitting ground strokes. So let's go about four balls here where I'm going to go pretty quick with Mark. He's just going to catch him and toss him back to me, and then we'll see it with the racket a little bit. Okay, Mark, here we go. Good. Notice how he's moving in and out of the tennis court, not just moving laterally. Moving into the ball, let's go one more, steps up, and then back pedals around. And you guys, you can see at no time is Mark's back visible to you. And the reason for that is because when we're playing tennis, unless we absolutely have to in certain scenarios, we never want to turn our back to the other side of the court. So when you guys feel yourselves moving inside the baseline a little bit and there's some recovery that needs to occur going back towards the baseline, always work on that where you're keeping your upper body facing the other side of the court, okay? So now we'll see that exact same footwork. Mark will hit some shots. You know, really what it is, you guys, the reason he's coming in front of the cone is that that weight transfer that he's going to use for his shot is going to pull him inside the baseline a little bit. Hence the need to weave back, all right? So here we go. Mark, you're outside, recovering back. Here we go. Good. Up and in, and weave around, step up, and then weave back, okay? Really well done. So you guys, that is a great drill. Figure eight drill, get yourself a partner, take turns being the hitter, take turns being the tosser. And I think you guys are gonna find that that drill gets you such a nice rhythm with your footwork from side to side on the baseline, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and we'll see you guys soon.